Okay, well, I've uh, worked quite a bit with this uh, cool jewel circuit that uh, Tin Man came up with and uh, gone way off of what we started out with. And I pulled all of the videos on that cool jewel radio transmitter. Um, the more I read about it and the dynamic of what I was doing, uh, I wanted to stop and take another look at the, the dynamic of the oscillator. And on the advice of several people, I added a capacitor and a resistor into the basic circuit to get it into more of a stable operating uh, circuit. And then uh, um, it became, to me, almost looks like a Hartley kind of circuit because of the two inductors and the capacitor. But the way it's wired up, it's, it's not really like a Hartley. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Some of the people said there's a capacitance inside the transistor it's actually setting up the, the circuit to make it work. But I played a lot around with this, looked at it at the scope, and it, it puts out multiple frequencies and reminded me a lot of the Dr. Stifler circuits. So um, I went another direction with it. And you can see right there is an LED and an Averminkle plug. It's two 1N914 or 1N4148 switching diodes that go into the collector on the transmission um, transistor. And then I put a... Uh, another clip lead over here and I've got a remote transmitter type of thing that uh, I thought was interesting so I thought I would show it I'm calling this the cool jewel transmitter now I've dropped the cool jewel radio transmitter because uh, it was just so unstable and all over the place that uh, um, didn't really like it so I went this direction and this is a uh, like I say it's the cool jewel Thing with the inductors not next to one another and I added a capacitor a 0.22 microfarad capacitor that's where the signal comes in to trigger the oscillator I added a resistor here to make it self start so you wouldn't have to tap start it and I'm just running it on a volt and a half uh, what I did here was instead of an antenna I came out here with an Averminkle plug look it up google it um, to see what I'm talking about and it runs a LED off one wire and then right here off of the the plus lead it's um, where the antenna basically goes and that's what's going on here is I've just got the block of aluminum acting like an antenna because I don't want this going all over the place if I can help it I want it local so let me fire it up here this is um, one of my videos here I'll just start it And you can hear it probably barely. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the circuit here into the uh, player. Now see the LED came on now. There's the LED and that's on the end of that Averminkle plug. Now I'm going to turn the radio on here and you're going to hear the sound come out of this. And now the, uh, the signal's coming out of the MP3 player, the, the, or the, not MP3, or the uh, YouTube player, the iPhone. It's going into my circuit, and then uh, it's doing that, and it's broadcasting to the radio. And I've also got this. So anyway, I thought this uh, video here would theme in well with my little uh, circuit here. That's my mini Tesla coil. And like I said, I'm just calling this the cool dual transmitter here. And it is a um, simple one transistor circuit. I did go to a 2N222. Two. And two, 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 two. Simple transistor that you could find at any uh, any electronic store. You can use an MPS806, um, 3904 works. I'm sure there's a number of them that work. But uh, anyway, like I say, this was a way to uh, is what's it's not ex extend the range um, of the uh, of the transmitter, the so it didn't have to be yeah, quite so close. Anyway, that's my latest with my little uh, cool jewel experiments. Thanks for watching.